Hi there. If you've never worked in a computer animation team, you might have never seen cache, alembic cache. That's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually uh, six commands here which have to do with uh, importing and exporting files. Well, why can't I just save my scene as my binary or whatever? Um, what do I need Alembic for? Alembic? Okay. Let's check Wikipedia for Alembic. Alembic Computer Graphics. Alembic is an interchange file format for computer graphics used by visual effects and animation professionals. It was announced at SIGGRAPH 2011, and here's a source given, and has been widely adopted across the industry. Its primary focus is the interchange of geometry models between different groups working on the same shots or same assets. Here you have an icon. Uh, and it was a format created by Sony Pictures, Imageworks uh, and Lucasfilms there together anyway. You have this article in um, exactly two other languages, Deutsch that is, and Chinese. The Chinese version looks like this. And I really appreciate that somebody wrote it. The Deutsch the German article was written, you see the version history here, by my humble self in October 2017. So if your mother tongue is Spanish or Arabic or Japanese or whatever, please do write an article about Alembic computer graphics uh, so we can have more languages here and many more people will be able to understand it. Hindi, for example, would be important. Back to Alembic. I give you a typical, typical example. Go to Windows and General Editor's Content Browser and pick just one of the motion capture data here. When we press 8, we see that gigantic creature, of the background color, um, who performs that dance within 263 frames. Now, when we pick the character, pick him, and want to move him or scale him, make him bigger, you see the handles are grayed out. We cannot do anything with him because he's totally dependent on what is called the dance reference. The reference node is right here, and with the refer reference node, we can scale him down or up and manipulate him, but um, he is totally dependent on uh, the skeleton inside of him. So um, the skeleton is here. If you open that thing with the shift key, you see the whole hierarchy. And for example, if you go to the dance one spine four, you see all red um, pointers here, meaning these are the motion capture data for this joint only. If we go to another joint, we see frame by frame red strokes here, which means all the motion capture data are sitting in the bones here, in the in the joints. You could never animate this by hand, really. You need an actor, and an actor actually played that role of the dancer and uh, had uh, lots of contacts on his suit, and the contacts transferred the 3D animation for the shoulder, for example, to a computer, and then all the data were cleaned up and uh, delivered here so we can use them. So uh, there's quite a process behind what we see here. But uh, the main thing I wanted to say is um, the whole um, animation driver sits in this big node with lots and lots of joints underneath. And this lean thing here cannot do anything. It's totally dependent on the bones. We cannot manipulate it. We can Give it another shader. That's all basically we can do. So um, here Alembic comes into play. Imagine you want to deliver this uh, animation to a colleague who doesn't care about joints, who doesn't want to alter anything in the animation here. Um, so um, And he wants only this, to work on the skin with a finished animation. The whole dance 
and uh, he wants to work on the skin. He doesn't want to work on joints and uh, skeletons. He doesn't want to see the skeleton. You can, of course, hide it, but that's not the way to do it these days. The way to do it these days is select what you need for your colleague, which is, in this case, only the skin. So we select the skin. Now we go to Cache, Alembic Cache, and we export the selection to Alembic. And we use the option box because the option box gives us, reset the settings, um, options about what range of animation you want to write to that Alembic export file. And the time slider is just good. It's the whole animation, 263 frames. So when we export the selection now, we need to name it. And I did it before. Let's call it Dance Alembic. And uh, when I export it now, um, I get uh, Maya will scrub through the animation very quickly. You see? And now it's done. We have the, still the same thing here, but that's a scene we can forget now. So we delete this scene, we create a new scene, and now we go to Cache, Alembic Cache, and we open the Alembic file we just created. It was called dancealembic.abc. We import it, don't save that scene, and now we have just one node. These are the cameras, these are the default light sets, but only one node is in the scene. And it is right here. It has a different shader as before, which doesn't matter. And now let's see if he has the animation. And sure, he does. So we have the animation in the, in the skin now. We cannot change any joints anymore because uh, the joint work is a matter of the past. It's not in the Olympic file anymore. So the scene is very lean and from that on you can start your own work now. There are loads of other usages for Olympic import-export and this is only one of them. Bye-bye.